How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about why computers use binary. It may seem like a random decision to have computers communicate their actions in only ones and zeros, but it actually comes from a very simple physical machine, the transistor. A transistor in its most basic form is a switch, and a switch can either be on or off, and that's it. When the switch is off, it's storing values of zero, and when it is on, it is treated as a one. With all these different switches working together, functions can be designed where you have an input and a resulting output only based on whether some of these switches are on and others are off. In other words, the computer is able to use transistors to calculate math problems. This is key because all software and code can eventually be broken down into math. Even this video you're watching is just math. Each pixel has a specific value that defines its color and its grid location on the monitor displayed for a certain amount of time until the value changes creating what you see right now. It can sound a little crazy that simple on and off switches can create such amazing things that computers are capable of today. So let's step back to the beginning of the computer age, a simple time, the first microprocessor, the Intel 4004, with a whopping 2,250 of these switches packed into it. But this was only designed as a simple calculator for a cash register. That may sound like a lot of transistors packed into one small chip, until you learned that today's modern chips have billions of transistors now. That's Billions with a B. This is only possible because of how small they are able to be made today. Currently, we can create transistors 10 to 20 nanometers in size. For some perspective, a grain of sand can be anywhere from 62,000 to 2 million nanometers wide. But there are other reasons for using ones and zeros. When transferring data, for example, over the internet, the same way that voltage is applied to the transistor to turn it on and off can be used in a signal to transfer data bit by bit to another computer or another system somewhere else. A high voltage value will indicate a one and a low voltage value will indicate a zero. The same effect can be achieved through electrical pulses of current. This is also why data is transferred bit by bit over the internet and why internet speeds are always listed in bits instead of bytes. So as you notice, your ISP probably lists 100 megabits per second of data transfer. And that is because when it is transferred over the internet, it is actually transferred one bit at a time, either a zero or a one. Now, obviously that is done very fast, but in the end, that is how it is received and transferred. And that's really the basic and main reason that we use zeros and ones in computers, because when it's all broken down, a computer processing stuff is all done by a ton of switches turning on and off. Thank you all for watching this video and please subscribe for more just like this. I will see you all in the next one.